I'm Dana Kozlov. For three decades, Lincolnwood Mall has been a big tax generator for the village of Lincolnwood. But like so many malls, it is struggling. Yet, despite its slow decline, Lincolnwood is still on pretty sound fiscal footing. That struggle is clear inside the mall. Crowds are sparse and about a quarter of its space is vacant. Adding to that, mall owners are considering filing for bankruptcy. That'd be a damn shame. A sentiment shared by many who frequent Lincolnwood Mall. Yet despite the pandemic, assistant village manager Chuck Meyer says Lincolnwood sales tax revenue only dipped about $200,000. The village, along with a lot of other communities, actually saw uh, sales tax go up in certain categories. One category in particular, car sales. People bought them last year. But Meyer says it doesn't mean Lincolnwood isn't in the hole like so many municipalities. It is, but only by about $1.5 million, a sliver of its overall budget. He expects they'll be able to fill that with federal funds, a new packaged liquor tax, and a meager food and beverage tax hike to 2%. What we did in looking at that was brought it up to uh, what our neighboring communities were. Granted, Lincolnwood's much smaller than many cities facing those deficits, but Meyer says the village usually keeps its books balanced. Police and village employees get pensions, but Lincolnwood's fire department is fully privatized, so no pensions there. It also has a fully funded rainy day fund. Still, Meyer stresses losing the mall would be a big blow. I think time will tell on that. Even though the mall's future is in flux right now, Meyer says they still very much want it to be an integral part of the community. Future plans for this space expected to be discussed very soon. In Lincolnwood, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.